Hmm, interesting. How did that ladder end up on top of you if you fell off of it? It's not concerning you, man. You need to walk away. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I thought this was a free country. I didn't know we were in communist Sweden. If we were living in Sweden, I wouldn't have to worry about this because we have universal health care. Mm, that's that. Okay. Be quiet. I'm talking. Hmm. I will send this off to corporate. Make sure you hold on to your medical bills. Feel better. Thanks, too, man. Later. So long, Daryl. Feel better. He's lying. He has a doctor's note. Oh, from who? Dr. J? You really need to investigate this. People need to just fall off of ladders. The guy on my street fell off a ladder painting his house. It's on the news. Since when have you known Daryl to rush to do anything other than to come up here for birthday cake? Y'all having birthday cake? It's not a very good term. And how many foremen do you know that pull boxes? Hmm. It just doesn't add up. It's oh Daryl. Get down. Oh He's not using crutches. Oh, get, get over Get the there. camera. Get, get Start there. taping. Drive. Oh, workers. Oh, my ass. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah, you ass. Toby. You gonna eat all that dog food yourself? Oh, oh, oh. 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 They're using the lift as their own personal elevator. What? He broke his ankle, climbing over the railing. Then he lied about it because it was a misuse of company equipment. Case closed. <laughs> Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Really? Then why is there new wood only on one railing? Hmm? Let's just check the security tapes, Toby. Well, hmm. yeah, no, I don't think there's any reason to check them, but I suppose if we wanted to be really certain. All right, yeah, fine, so whatever. Yes! You really did it. Now, I would like to file an official complaint to corporate because Daryl lied on an official form. And I'm telling them you guys sexually harassed my sister. No judge is gonna believe that. Can I do some of the talking? I will do the talking. Okay, let them know that I'm here. Hello. Though. What difference does it make whether you're here? Hello. Hi, Oscar. It's Michael. And Dwight. Yeah. Um, heard you were under the weather. Yeah, I think I came down with the flu. Really? Oh, that is a shame. You know, it's cleaning day here today. Could have used some of that famous Hispanic cleaning ethic. Yeah, I feel terrible about it. Ask him his symptoms. I'm on WebMD. What are your symptoms? Uh, I have the chills. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling nauseous and my head's killing. Checks out. Michael, is there anything you need from me? I'd like to go back to bed. I need you to go to bed. I need you to get better. See you Monday, unless you're still sick. So have a great long weekend. I'll just be sleeping. Okay, first impressions. He sounded sick. Which is exactly how you'd want to sound if you wanted someone to think you were sick. That's exactly what I was thinking. Question, may I investigate? Yeah, drop what you're doing. Make this a priority. There are several different ways to tell if a perp is lying. The liar will avoid direct eye contact. The liar will cover part of his or her face with his hand, especially the mouth. The liar will perspire. Unfortunately, I spoke to Oscar on the phone, so none of this is useful. As a volunteer sheriff's deputy, I've been doing surveillance for years. One time, I suspected an ex-girlfriend of mine of cheating on me, so I tailed her for six nights straight. Turns out, she was. With a couple of guys, actually, so. Mystery solved. Oh man, you are so busted. Ice skates, shopping bags. I think I know what's going on here. You weren't sick at all. Who's this? Uh, this is Dwight Schrute. Who is this? Gil. Are you going to tell Michael? How about this? I don't tell Michael, and in exchange, you owe me one great big giant favor, redeemable by me at a time and place of my choosing. Guess what I found out about Oscar tonight? He was lying about being sick. Should I have reported Oscar's malfeasance? Hmm, probably. But now I know something he doesn't want me to know. So I can use his malfeasance to establish leverage. Otherwise, it's just malfeasance for malfeasance's sake. I need the name of a good private investigator. I think I've got one for you. This is you. 
How much do you charge? $100 a day plus expenses. I'll give you 50. Money's no object. Done. I'm just gonna warn you, and I say this to all my clients, you might not like what I find. Okay. And you might not like how I find it. The only logical way to find out if Donna is a cheater is to seduce her, bring her to orgasm, then call Michael and tell him the sad news. You look like you're getting a good workout. Can I feel your pulse? No, I'm good, thanks. Really? Hey, uh... Um, like young man, can you wipe down that seat? Get out of my way. <laughs> Tomorrow's fertilizer, am I right? <laughs> I'm out of here. Donna, Donna, wait, please. I'm sorry, okay? Listen, we both know why I'm here. To see you naked while I'm naked. You stay away from me, or I'm calling security. Donna, come ah. <sighs> You're back. What happened? Oh, I pulled muscles in both my thighs. Thanks for asking. No, what happened with Donna? Yeah, no, she's not cheating. Oh, man. You help me work out this knot right here. Oh, Put your fingers here. No, no. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah, oh, and here's your expense receipts. Right there. Who eats eight protein bars? People who don't trust egg whites. Okay. Well, I am just glad this is all over. Oh, me too. And by the way, uh, I told her not to, but she's coming over here and she's furious. What? No, she didn't say that. You're right. I was paraphrasing. What she actually said was, what is with him? He is crazy. I'm coming over there to talk to him. And this was after I have no other recourse but to tell her and Jim Security that you had sent me there to see if she was cheating. Also, I joined the gym. You'll be billed monthly. I am not paying for that membership. So we're gonna need a signal to bolt out of there in case there is danger. Fine. And that signal is, lick your lips. Try it. No, no, no. Like this. Good. Ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Here come the sharks! Bottom. Bottom. So why are you considering leaving Dunder Mifflin? My boss. Oh yeah, <laughs> do tell. His insensitivity could border on the cruel. This is a man who does not listen to the needs of his underlings. Hey! He's way... Hey, how's the interview going? It's going very well. Don't blow it. Hey, Linda, can I get a picture of you? You want a picture of me? I would. Oh. Could you just stand right over here? That would be great. Just something to remember the trip by. Just a little to your left. There you go. Good. Perfect. Can I have a copy of that? Um. Grandma, I can't do this. What's going on? A little homework over here? Yeah. Let's see if I can help. Wait, there. Oh, oh, math. That's not so hard. Okay. There are four of these. All Ignore right. the parentheses, right? All Why right. is this little two so small? It's, it's weird. You just uh -huh. don't, you just go by the X. The X means times. Mm -hmm. So that means four times X two. What is double four? Eight. Right. Excellent. Way to go. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't put that. Oh, wait, let me get something for you here. Here's some, uh, some references. Our top clients. You call any of them, I trust you'll hear some good things. Okay. 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 All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mm hmm I took the bus here and was wondering if I could catch a ride home with you in your car. Of course. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. I Thank cannot you for your wait time. to contact your clients. I'll look forward to <laughs> getting your calls. Bye now. Bye now. So long. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.